Two years ago, sat in a car park whilst exploring, we came up with an idea. An idea that's probably better than any idea we've ever had. We've been so lucky to travel to some fantastic countries for the main channel and done some amazing activities. But we've never done anything for the second channel where we've just travelled and not explored at the same time. So what is this great idea that we came up with? We bought a car, but not just any old car. A car that couldn't cost more than £150 to buy. A car that would get through its MOT, so it was at least road legal. And a car that was capable of travelling 2,500 miles through France, Spain, Gibraltar and on into Africa. But if you've ever watched our videos before, you know we don't do things by halves. So we enlisted the amazing graffiti artist T2 Sugars, our good friends over at Manscaped, and Sheffield's own Dyson Signs and Graphics. Previously on the Beeper Road Trip. Rambo it. I feel this guy is having a really good run. <laughs> yeah, I try. It's really hard to keep it going. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, what are you doing? That's there somewhere. Andy. Jesus. Here we go. To try and get across here really, really quickly. Now I'm stuck. Welcome to morning three and a very rough Matt and Andy. What did you just say? I'm broken. You're broken. I feel the same. Oh, sleep on beach, he says. The sand will melt to your body, he says. It did. No, it didn't. Just like sleep on concrete. <laughs> You feeling rough this morning? Oh. Oh. Feels like I've been on a night out. That's because we've been on a night out. Oh. <laughs> I'm going outside because it's sunrise in a minute. I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the best ideas you've ever had. What? Sleeping? Sleeping bags are meant for children. <laughs> <laughs> They're the thinnest <laughs> sleeper bags in the world that don't fit round my body. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, back and neck. Oh. <laughs> don't use me as a. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you there. Oh, I can't move. Oh. <laughs> Why don't we camp every night? Why don't you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh. right, I'm bombing outside. I've got cold feet. I've got cold everything. And that's me, and I'm never cold. It's only my feet. <sighs> right, so good morning. You look freezing. <laughs> well, it's a good job. I'm a nice, nice friend. Got you something. What you got? Got you this. Oh. Bang that on your head. That'll warm up that bald bonds. Bad me up all night. Is that better? Hey. <laughs> Can't you hear me now? So we are in La Flotte on Ile de Ré. Is Ile de Ré the name of the name of the island? He's still calling me. I thought you just he couldn't hear me then. Um, so the sun is currently rising over there. It's literally just on its way up. And I think, from what I can see, there's some sort of fort or, or bunker or something over there. So we might go and have a quick wander over and see what it's like. And then take this down and go and have a look around the island. So let's go. Right, so it's quite a big bunker by the looks of things. There's a football pitch there. There's a, there's a beach volleyball court there. 
Well, that's not what I would expect to see near a bunker or a fort or whatever it is. Yeah, that's so cool. And you can see that's the little beach that we stayed on last night. The tent is just there. It's a lovely place, this. But this looks like some sort of fort complex. It's more a fort than a bunker. Yeah. Well, the reason I thought a bunker original... Oh, my God, look at it in here. Was that over there on that hill? That's what made me think it was a bunker. Look at the... It is a proper fort, look. There's buildings up there. This is bizarre. And the thing is, we just we just came here by chance, didn't we? Yeah. We just drove. You found somewhere on the map. And we just, just came here, so quite odd to find something like this when we weren't really even looking for it right so at the front of this it's got its own little harbour and its own little andy on a wall having a look at the harbour it's pretty cool this place you know the thing is i think it's still used as some sort of fort or something look you can't get in there's big Massive bars behind that gate as well. So it's something official still. I'm reckoning they're still using it as a proper fort for soldiers and stuff. Right, so we've just made our way back because I've left the phone on the beach doing a bit of a time lapse for you looking at the sun. And we've just noticed on this wall there's loads and loads of like things. 1878. Do you reckon? This was where the guard sat. Because look, there's a big thing here that looks like there's something into that wall. I reckon that wall's been, it's a new that's, wall. That's been rebuilt. I yeah, know it. it has. So I reckon there's something that fastened, like a big gate or whatever. And the guard of the gate probably sat here. And look, that's Girard, Girard. Um, and it's, one, two, three, E. So I reckon that may be what his, his regiment was or whatever. And 1874. Now, if you look on the map at this place, we just had a quick look on the map, it's all blurred out on Google, isn't it? Oh, this yeah. This could be a drawbridge. Oh, yeah. Imagine, yeah, it would be a drawbridge, wouldn't it? That makes sense. That's a windy thing. You think? That could be a big windy thing. Oh, yeah, because the, the windy thing comes in there and then the wire bit comes out Down of there. there. Yeah. That. And look, there's loads of them on here. Not all of them were dates, but there's loads and loads of names. 1940, there. Really? Oh yeah, 1940. Huh. That's mad. So there would have been a drawbridge on this bit, look, protecting the fort. But why is it still blurred out on Google? No idea. That's really weird. Really, really weird. Anyway. I better get back before somebody pinches that phone, which really wouldn't be great, would it? <laughs> Pinch everything. I know. The tent's gone. <laughs> Car's gone. Car's left gone. That unlocked, I think. Yeah, right. I locked, not unless you left another door I unlocked. left all doors open. Every single door's unlocked. Oh, then, yeah. <laughs> Car's gone. <laughs> now, the amazing thing about exploring the world and seeing different things is you get to meet some really cool people. So we met some the other day. The little old guy with the big beard and the hat. Just met these two behind us. We've had a really good chat about what we do. And they've invited us back for a drink at their house. So we're going to go and have a, a nice warm drink um, at the house. And then we're set up for the day. We are in Stephanie and Olivier's house. Just having some bits of breakfast. Some lovely grapes. And some cereal and, and some bread. Bit so, of honey. Yeah, it's all good. It's really, really good. It's homemade bread as well, which is fantastic. But like I said, this is the sort of stuff that I love meeting up with people. And here's Stephanie now Hello. bringing us some coffee. So we were just talking about um, the the building we went to down at the bottom. You say it was a prison? Yes, it is. So, um, and what sort of prisoners do go in there usually? The worst uh, prisoners. The, the 20 years uh, sentence and worst and they are here because they, it's an island so they cannot go elsewhere and um, it's uh, the first job here is uh, provided by the prison yeah 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 so all, all the locals work 
work doing that. It's brilliant. This is the sort of stuff that we, we love. And here's Olivier bringing Hello. us some apple as well. What a legend. We were just saying we absolutely love meeting people while we're doing stuff and, and sort of local people to do with the air, that know stuff to do with the area and especially people that give us give us food that it's like <laughs> the best sort of people anyway we're going to crack on with some food and we'll catch up with you later right so we're back at the car with olivier it's been absolutely amazing i didn't want to film everything because we were just having a really good chat we've been there absolutely ages talking about explores talking so about fun meeting this guy it's good it's good <laughs> so yeah talking about making bread taking uh, talking about all sorts really so it's just i love this sort of thing i love meeting up with people from different backgrounds doing different stuff and this is what it's all about for me this trip is meeting people and doing stuff that's totally different so thank you very much to you make sure you say thank you to stephanie as well and uh, we'll get off now what a nice guy how how nice were both of them lovely I could have sat and talked to them for hours and hours and hours. I think they wanted to, but they've got to get off, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they're buying their first house. That was like a flat, wasn't it? And they're buying yeah. their first house together um, later on today. So absolutely amazing. So, yeah, we are back where we started off. Uh, the tent is there. That's where we slept last night. And we're going to go and have a little look around the island and then possibly head off to Bordeaux for our dinner, depending on how much time we've got. We need to make sure we're looking after our time a little bit better. We because do. we just like. Time just got away from us yesterday. Didn't what you? time did we put that tent up? About half 12, one o'clock? Yeah. Must have been one o'clock by the time it went up. Yeah. That so, time got in it about one o'clock. Yeah. Before. So we need to be looking after our time a lot, lot better than we are doing. But the car's there. What time is it now? About half nine, 10 o'clock. Oh, quarter, quarter, quarter to, to ten. ten. So we'll crack on, go and have a look around the island a little bit, and then we'll go off to Bordeaux. Right, so we're now around the back end of where the prison was. And we know I noticed something this morning. I just wanted to come, but I don't know how we're going to get to them. But look at all these donkeys. There's, <laughs> there's loads of them. Back. Absolutely loads of them. Oh, yeah. A crane on them. Oh, what? No, it's not a crane. I don't know what those birds are, but I'm going down. I'm going to go and speak to the donkeys. I want to go and have a look. I don't know. Are these donkeys? Because they seem very big for donkeys. I don't know. They're lovely though. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. The ears are massive. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're lovely, are you? You're lovely. You want to talk as well? You're not bothered? No, it's you. You're my friend, aren't you? They're so much bigger than I expected to, to be. They've got, it's got to be, look at the hair. There's lots of different sorts as well. Now you've got to remember this is where they live. So I've got to give them a bit of respect. I don't want to scare them. I don't want them to think that I'm a threat. I'll let them smell me first before I go in for a stroke. No, he's like, no, you stink, mate. No, I don't think any of them are bothered. It's okay. No, look, I don't want to scare him. It's not fair. Oh, you coming for a smell. It's okay, it's okay. You're lovely, aren't you? You're wonderful. Oh, you are. Okay, it's all right. There we go. You all want a stroke now? Either that or you want to eat me. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? Isn't that nice? Oh, proper love these. I'd have a donkey me. They're so interested. They're so intelligent as well. Like people think donkeys are stupid and they're not at all. And horses are very, very intelligent. You're lovely, aren't you? What are you trying to steal out of my pocket? Are you a thief? You're a thief, donkey. Oh, one eating my ankle. This is like heaven. I absolutely love this. I could spend all day stroking these. 
Right, so we are on our second breakfast of the day, which consists of bread, coffee, and an orange juice. No, that's not that's orange juice. Orange juice. But we were still a bit hungry and we didn't really want to impose on them, did we? Because we knew they were in a hurry. So we thought we'd come and get something else. But we are in a lovely setting at the moment, down next to the uh, little harbour in La Flotte. Um, so we're going to crack on with this. Like I said, then we're going to probably go to that place that I've forgotten the name of. Bilbao. No, the other one, beginning with a bird. Is it Bordeaux? Bordeaux. Yes. Is it wine com country, Bordeaux? Bordeaux, wine country. Yeah. Right, we're back to the car. We're leaving this place behind. I said we weren't going to stay here very long. We've got an extra breakfast. Might just check out a little bit more of the island and then we're gone. Right. I didn't think we'd be able to drive this way, to be honest. Right past all the food places and that. I thought it'd be blocked off. Don't know whether we're really supposed to be doing, but that's what the maps are saying. So let's do it. We are getting a few sort of funny looks, aren't we? But it's good though. It has been really, really good. But we are now heading to Spain. France has been very good. I just don't know whether we'll have time to go to Bordeaux. I hope so. We've had a bit of a problem with something and I can't really tell you what it is but once I get it sorted out I will let you know exactly what the issue was so I've been working on that this morning trying to get that sorted out but everything else is running smoothly apart from this man that's about to get run over in the middle well, of the road. Well it will be run smoothly if I run over him. Yeah, flatly. Not Michael. Yeah. That's weird because we've just been talking about Michael Flatley as well. Yeah. Ile de Ray was an amazing place. It got a bit of everything about it. It got the history, it got the beaches, it got something extra special that nowhere else I've been in France really has. It got a sense of community, but also a willingness to evolve and let new ideas and new people onto the island to make it something bigger and better than anything else around that area. I absolutely love the place. I don't know what I'm going to do now with just this set of clothes. I'm going to stink. And I'm gonna feel really unhygienic. But if you wanna feel hygienic and feel your best, you need Manscaped. And I'm gonna tell you about that now. As you know, we love Manscaped. We've worked with them before and we'll work with them on into the future. So when they told us about the launch of the Lawn Mower 4.0, we were excited because I knew from previous products how good they are on your balls. And I thought it was impossible to improve on the Lawnmower 3.0, but Manscaped have really outdone themselves this time. Adding the adjustable guard for all your styling needs. And trust me, Andy needs plenty of style. They've integrated skin safe technology to stop all those nicks and cuts. Kept all the favourites like the waterproof feature. Not only have they upgraded the lawnmower, they've upgraded the Platinum Package 4.0 and it's amazing. They've kept the little light on there so you can shave your balls in the dark if your power goes in this horrible energy crisis we're having to put up with. And they've improved things like the wireless charging and the battery on there. While we're on our road trip, that means we can last longer and longer. Don't forget, you get a free bag and free shipping. For details how to win a Platinum Package 4.0 and to use the code CAR150, please check out the description below. Anyway, back to the video. Right, we're at the next stop along the way, which is Bordeaux, and it looks quite impressive, doesn't it? Massive. Yeah, it really is. If you look at the big buildings, we're only on the outside of the place at the moment. But I have seen some photos of a 
pretty impressive pallets thing that we need to try and find in a minute. The river's over at that side. I don't know what river it is. Can't really see it from here. Yeah, some big boats over there. There's a man watching us in that car. He seems to be very interested in what we're doing. I don't know where you're going. Where are you going? It's a bluff here, isn't it? Oh, maybe it did. I don't know where I've took us to. I've just put it to anywhere. Oh, there is some parking places up there, so we'll maybe head that way then. And then it was that time of day again to record the music video. Now what you haven't seen on the music video if you have watched it and if you haven't you need to get over there and check it out. But the bit you haven't seen is there wasn't just one woman I was following round, there was three. This one didn't hang round long enough to make it worthwhile using her. This one scared me a little bit because she kept waving her phone round and I thought she was going to ring the police. And then finally, our good old friend, the angriest woman in France. Now, to be honest with you, I can understand why they were getting annoyed with me. I was a weird man, dressed up strangely, following them round in the street. I was in the wrong, not them. But, to be fair, it was good fun. Right, we are in a semi-sunny, not a semi, we ain't got a semi. We're in a semi-sunny Bordeaux, and it is really nice but there is big black clouds in every other direction apart from where i've pointed the camera at to be fair it's nice it is it's lovely it's warm isn't it i've We've... got arms out i know it must be Instead warm of hoodie. Yeah. but look at where we are so you've got i don't even know what river this is to be fair do you know what river it is can't be the same can it no can't be sure like we're too far down now is, isn't it um i, I don't know we'll find that but let me turn you around and show you what is this way Right, so you can see everywhere else is a little bit cloudy, but look at it over here. How amazing is this building? I'm gonna take you up and put you down on the floor and it gives a really good reflection on here of the place itself. Now they're doing some work on it by the looks of things over there, but the, oh, these, these people are looking at me saying, oh God, I don't wanna be in their, in their film. But yeah, look, if I come stand here, put this down here. How cool does that look? Apart from there's traffic. But if there wasn't traffic, it'd look amazing. And we just got some really good photos of the place. But Bordeaux is a very impressive place, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. It's so, so good. So yeah, we're gonna go and get some food which is what we seem to do all the time. That's all we seem to do, although it all seems to be bread recently. So I want to get some food nice poisoning. nice food. How can you have bread poisoning? Of course you can. We're going to get a yeast infection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you get? Oh, by the way. It's the same? No, Garon River. That what? Garon. Garon? Yeah, like Roland Garros, but it's not. It's, it's Garon. I don't know who G that is. G-A-R-O-N-E. Look at that dog. That dog's cool. Great Dane. Yeah, big Great Dane. Right, let's go and get some food and have a look round. We haven't got long here because we don't want to be doing what we did last night. Oh, no, God, no. Please and ro no. rolling in at one o'clock in the morning. Right, just to give you a bit of a closer up view, it's Place de la Bosse, apparently. Oh, that could be the name of the road. It looks like a palace, but actually it's in three parts. I don't mean like there's a sequel. But yeah, there's one part, there's two parts, there's three parts. Rui Saint Remy, that's where we're going down now. Rui Saint Remy, oh so maybe that is the name of the place then, yep. I don't know. Right, let's go and have a look up here. Right, we're on our usual trip to find food. I feel like there's a big square up there, Andy. Whereas it's just shops and lots and lots I and lots of people shop, that shops way. Down there, isn't it? Yeah. Shall we head to what looks like a square this way? Yeah. Oh look, there's a big uh, gallery market thing in there. Oh wait, box office, um, chemist. Yeah, so it's not, not food places. 
Look at these buildings there. They're absolutely ginormous. They, they really, that's what the guy said this morning though. He said the, the streets are really wide. Oh, you did, remember, did yeah. yeah. And it makes sense now. They are really wide. So it's quite narrow. It'd be really dark, wouldn't it? Well, it, it would, yeah, because of the height of these buildings. They've, they've kind of got to be, really. It is nice to see blue sky coming more and more, though, now. The further south we get, the better it seems to be getting as well. More chance we've got to see my, my legs out. Do we really want to see your legs out? Bloody well do. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. We won't oh, get... I've got to get them out. We won't get new female subscribers if you don't get your legs out. You know they all come for you. They're not here for me, they're here for you. I'll get the men lots of come for me. Well, yeah, true. You're giving her everything you do. Giving her everything, men, woman, beast. <laughs> we've got, well, we've been in a beast all week. Oh, brilliant beast. I'm going to cry now when that goes. I'm definitely going to cry. I know, I'm going to miss the car, I really am. But we've got it for some time yet, so yeah. don't get too... We'll make most of it. Probably knackered by Thursday. Yeah, probably. That isn't a big square. It's just a tram route by the looks of things. So, we're going to have to rethink and re-look. Right, so we've just made our way up the opposite direction from when we started a minute ago, but then we've come across more of these umbrellas. They seem to be everywhere. Thing is, it's not really going to keep the rain off your head walking down here, is it? Didn't they have that umbrella movement a few years ago? Was that in Japan or China somewhere? I don't know. Where they always used to carry an umbrella for some sort of protest. Oh, I'm not sure, but... Well, so is that when they've all been hung? Yeah. Stick them up there? But I'm not sure what it were now. They always used to know. carry an umbrella. Mm, not sure. Sort of protest against something, but I'm not 100% sure what it were now. No, I don't know. Right. The body shop. I thought that was it. Picture on near love. Yeah. Yes, sir. No. Bra, bra. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We get a lot of attention. Uh, to be fair, I've no idea why we get a lot of attention, but we seem to get a lot of attention. But yeah, body shop. I thought it was like a British owned company with no other stores all over the world. <laughs> Obviously, they have. Oh, International yeah. now, isn't it? Oh, we're just walking up like past Zara and Foot Locker. Why, why has every day become a themed hunt for food? It's like there's two lions on the prairie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> trying to, try to find something to eat. Yeah, but I'm going to end up taking down a local at some point and just like <laughs> chewing on the leg or something. <laughs> but I am starving. That's it, and then we spend two hours searching for food and then we're late by two hours and then, and then we're in a rush everything else again exactly right so food's come it's not exactly what you thought it was going to be to be fair it's not exactly what i thought it was going to be but it looks amazing and it's the sort of thing that i love i'm not sure about you do you what do you like what things like that? this um not right clever <laughs> Well, I've done nothing else, you've got some chips. But there we go. This is the salmon that we ordered, and it is raw salmon, which I love. I don't know if it's smoked salmon, to be fair, but either way, it is very, very good. And I cannot wait to tuck into this. Right, here is the moment of truth. What if you hate it? If I hate it, I hate it. But you're gonna eat it. But I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna try it. That's the, that's the whole point, isn't it? When you come on these sort of things, is to try certain things. Yeah, that's I know what you mean. That's it, that's, that is the whole point. But what I'm saying is, you're still gonna eat it if you hate it. Well, I'm trying my best. That's what I'm gonna do. Go on then. Give me a star rating out of 10. Not about a three. Do you hate it? Do you hate it? Don't hate it, no. Um, I'm a bit indifferent. Really a bit indifferent about how, how it tastes. I'm not a raw fish man, I don't like sushi, for a start. But this, if you if you think this is okay, then surely you do like sushi. No, there's something different about sushi. Ah, fair enough. Anyway. But I'm eating it. Well, yeah, good. Let's get it done. Let's get What's it finished. Lemon juice, mate? Right, it goes without saying that I do love stuff like this. So I am gonna absolutely smash it to pieces. It is a really, really nice place we're in as well. Like she thinks it's amazing. She's coming here. I've seen her just like licking her lips and proper enjoying her food. Contortionist. 
<laughs> you can't say that. But yeah, look at her. Look at her. She's like trying to work out whether she's got enough money to buy some more. She, she's got. She's made of it. Absolutely made of it. I'm trying to explain what it tastes like. It does taste like salmon, but it's also got... What? What's wrong with you? I'm trying to explain what it tastes like. And it does taste like salmon. Oh, no, but it... because it is. <laughs> no, no. Cow. And no. Oh, cod. No, but it's got not like an overwhelming... Fish taste. Extra... No, I don't mean fish taste. I mean like another sauce or something that really overwhelms it. You can taste the salmon in it, but you can also taste a hint of ginger. Yeah. Can taste bits of tomato that are in there as well. I'm not sure, I don't think it's coriander or something else in there. Can't quite work out, but it is really, really nice. And to say that you weren't sure, it seemed like you're, you're having a good old crack at it. I am, I've got, I've got to. Yeah, oh yeah, that's it, that's what you go away for and you try new things. Don't just have Mackies every time we go anywhere for food. Get like, sick of Mackies. Don't get me wrong, we have had one while we've been here. That, that were a beautiful sight of you pulling that rocket into the gob. Anyway, <laughs> not someone's rocket. Don't want that juice going all over. <laughs> in fact, what's in there? What's in there? <laughs> right, as you can see, the weather has improved and we are on our way out of Bordeaux. If Andy doesn't kill us by putting us under a car wheel or something. Could be squashed in this car under a car wheel. Literally, that bike could squash us with that small. That's a bloody weird bike, that. Isn't it? It's one of those dot bikes. You can hire them. It's like a Boris bike. Oh, is it? Yeah. You hire them, um, like you pay by the minute or whatever. They are good. It's, I suppose it's only like the uh, the scooters we got. Oh, in, the in lime Paris. ones. Yeah. Oh. On to Bilbao, and we've got. Three hours 23 so that's going to be 20 past 8 again we're going to be late and that's without a stop yeah that's without any sort of stop so we need to crack on one thing i'm definitely noticing is the temperature is starting to rise massively in it so yeah. compared to the north of france to where we are now it's really really gone up um i'm hoping that will be the case continuing however this car is boiling absolutely roasting so i'm hoping not too much we've also in a minute which i bet you've forgotten got to do rock paper scissors yes we have to see who is next for the torture of the day right we've been waiting in traffic for ages and i'm bored so i'm getting out oh no it's changed to green what do i do i'm gonna get run over i'm just running down the middle of the road and i'm still gonna beat andy and now, I'm going to have to run back. Get in! I was bored. I was very bored. We were bored the next four, four hours. I wanted to stretch my legs a bit. Stretch them? Yeah, why well, have I got two cameras on me now? Now, this is weird. Anyway, I hope it doesn't change to red again. What is your favourite part of the French section so far? Um, La Flotte. La Flotte? Yeah. What was it about La Flotte that you it's liked? It's a lovely place, isn't it? It was a lovely place. Um, I think I would say the place before La Rochelle. The place yeah. the night before, I thought that was really nice in La Rochelle. Well, we had that. Um Pizza. And you had the lasagna. Yeah, I had that, to eat it with my face. No, but I mean the place itself was lovely though. Yeah, that's what I meant, that one. Yeah, so what are we hoping for in Spain? Same. Same? Well, you want it to be exactly the same? Yes, I want to eat decent shit. You want to eat some decent shit? I bet there's some decent sights to see as well in Spain. I've never been to Spain, ever. I've never been to mainland Spain. I've been to like the Canary Islands and Ibiza and stuff like that, but I've never ever been to mainland Spain. No. I want it to be a different experience again, and the same when we get to Morocco, but... Morocco will be a completely different experience. Are you sick of being in the car yet? Yeah. Very sick, or just a bit? Just a bit. Just a bit. It's bearable, but it is getting like 
it's long. Very monotonous, isn't it? Yeah, it's long. I want some little roads. I think we're going past Biarritz and the coast in a bit. So it might be nice, but it's time again. I want to stop. But no, it, it's so much time. I'm gonna, I might stop to eat and you can't no, talk about it. I can't stop driving. Well, you can't because we're shopping over in a bit. Not if I don't want to stop. What are you going to do? Chuck me out? Oh no, but I'll jump out. Bye then. <laughs> you horrible man. But I am hungry. I have just eaten an hour ago. Yeah, but what were it? Doesn't matter, that a, should be enough to a, fill you. A bit of salmon. For, and, for longer than an hour. And a quarter of a potato. What do you want? A I school want... of salmon. <laughs> and a field of tatties. No. I just want some uh, I said to you I want some uh, greasy and vile. You could have had some uh, greasy and vile. Yeah, but I want it as well. No. no you're not my mother! Okay. If I was to say I want it, I want it. Oh, I really need a poo. That's tough. I might need to stop at the services. Well, I need some service, just need some petrol. Oh, we need some petrol. Again? Yeah, we need, need petrol. <laughs> it's a complete arse <laughs> wipe. <laughs> Right, Andy, you fill up. I'm going for a poo. Sick of putting petrol in all. And I'm going to get some food while I'm oh, in here as well. Dick, so you <laughs> 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 I'm off to buy the food and I've got the money. <laughs> right, I need to hurry up and curl this out because if I don't, he's got no money to pay and I'm going to get food as well. So, I'm going to crack on and get this out of me. It's killing me! Right, let's stock up. Jesus Christ, that can't be right. Four euros 45 for a can of Red Bull. Three euros 45 for a small can of Red Bull. That's ridiculous. That is the most expensive Red Bull I've ever, ever seen. Oh, shall I get a Coke instead? No, I'll get a Coke as well. Be all right. Oh, I don't feel like that one. Right. So now we've got our drink. What food can I get? Oh, that's stuff that needs warming up. There's plenty of crisps. They're expensive, though. For almost five euros for them. That's madness. Right, so I've got some crisps. I've got some drink. And I'm going to get some of these as well. Andy wanted to try one earlier on. So I'm going to get some and let him try. Oh. What are you doing? I've got you something! You just buy me something because you feel guilty about buying yourself 15 quid worth of shit. Do you know what, right? Uh. 3 euros 50. 2 euros. That's a fiver. 5 euros. 9 quid. I don't know how much these were, but you wanted one. So I got you one. Did I? Well, no, you didn't want one. To be fair, we just talked about them. Oh. And that meant. What is it? Okay, find out. Ball bollock. Oh, one of them things in that shop. Yeah. See? I think they look bizarre, but they're expensive. <laughs> I bet you're glad I got one of them for you what? now. Rubber? <laughs> what the hell? Is... <laughs> what is it? What even is it? What's inside it? I'm sweating, man. Custard. A bit rubbery. <laughs> Custard surrounded by leather. It's like somebody's like just sliced off a <laughs> spot off somebody's back. Oh, that's disgusting. It's nice, though, but it's chewy. Yeah, I'm going to have mine now. Really chewy. Looks like it's nice or not. <laughs> well, at least I bought you something. It did just cost like £225,000, but anyway. Right, let's get on. Ugh. Right, we are getting closer and closer to the border of Spain. Oh God, we've got another one of these tolls. Literally, this is our draining our cash left, right and centre. We keep getting tolls. One of them were about 30 euros, wouldn't it? You got mad, weren't it? Yeah, these ones haven't been too bad. They've only been like three euros, but they're every five minutes. So it makes you feel better about life. But actually, they charge you 
17 times more than often, more than normal, don't they? So he's actually not that good. But what we have noticed, and I don't know if you can see him now, but there's the mountains behind there in the background, and they look pretty big. I hope if we are going over them, this car can make it. You're going in the wrong one here, aren't you? No, it's like a saving tip. Oh yeah, this is just no cash, that's fine. That was two pounds thirty-one pence. Well, that's about the tenth one we've had. Yeah, it's not too bad that though. That's a, a pound cheaper than it has been, isn't it? Yeah. So, but yeah, it's just so often this side of France, isn't it? We've we've probably done the best part of hundred pound in in tolls now, haven't we? Yeah, easy. So, and I forgot to even factor that into the costings of what we were spending to be honest with you well we knew there were going to be tolls but didn't know exactly how many did we? well no no not at all so i'm hoping because i've just been reading speed has cut down the amount of toll roads they've got and i've just started talking to you this way around and now the bleeding mountains are over there so i'm going to show you so you can just see them coming in the distance now we can just about see them and which what mountains are they now i don't know I feel I do know, but I can't French think. French Alps? No, that's the other side, the French Alps, yeah. isn't it? What's the one in between France and Spain? Pyrenees? Oh, it might. Is it the Pyrenees? I can't remember. I'm going to have to have a look now. It's that time again. It's challenge time. And after a quick game of rock, paper, scissors, guess who loses again? Yes, it's me. So, Andy is going to be driving the car. I... Am I going to be wearing that helmet there? Not that one. The, the, there, over there, you know what I mean. And I'm going to get pulled by this rope behind the car up this very long, long hill with a skateboard. I'm not doing it one handed. I've got to use two. You're going to die. I think you should try it with one. Okay, we'll let you try it with one, shall we, as well? And my feet won't be like that, otherwise skateboard, skateboard's going wrong way. Yeah, it's, it's so funny this, isn't it? <laughs> You're an absolute idiot. <laughs> We've got, I think we should let you have a try of a skateboard. I don't mean being pulled, I mean just on the skateboard at some point. Down a hill? Yeah, you ride it back down this hill. This isn't a hill, you'll struggle on here, it's flat. That were good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've got the helmet of doom that's got people's names on. Some of them have covered them up, up afraid, but yeah, we've got names on the helmet of doom. And this is going on my head. The problem is I sort of painted the visor so I can't see through it, so that's gonna have to be up. Yeah, definitely. Imagine. No, leave it down. No, are you horrible, man? Right, let's. Uh, oh, that's Have you painted it shut, that one. No, that's it. Right, I've got the helmet on. Don't know if you can actually hear me. Got the skateboard. And he's in the car. My face is squashed up like a fat man squeezed into a tiny helmet because that's exactly what I am. You look weird in a helmet. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> it's yeah, squashing my face together. <laughs> so. Making your eyes look all like small. Yeah, and my ear, you don't even see my ears, they're tied in knots. <laughs> I can't talk properly either, it's like restricting my tongue. What about your nose, know, that squashed? My nose, how's my nose squashed? It's there. It's like it's squashed against the front. No, it's my tongue, it's like they're coming by my tongue. But anyway, we've got a clear road now. So I can't hear a thing. Come on, Evil Knievel. Uh, 
Ready again. Oh my god, oh my god. We okay? Keep going! Jesus Christ! Keep going past this tractor! Oh my god, I'm going sideways! Oh my god, I'm going sideways! It's going to be the most stupidest thing you've ever done. Side, you need to be middle at road, otherwise, I'll end up down here. Need to wait for this tractor to go anyway. Yeah, I thought, I thought when I shout a tractor, you thought I was gonna say faster. No, well, I shouted tractor. Oh, did you? Yeah, and then oh. you shouted tractor. <laughs> <laughs> I go in the middle of the road. Yeah, go, 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 go. Better. So good. Oh, I can't get it off my head. Uh, uh, that is scary. It's, it's really scary. Thing ever. <laughs> We're going, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, it's what it, it is. It's not the speed. The speed's fine. But the little bumps on the road, it just makes your legs go like that. Yeah. And then you feel like, because when you slow down and then speed back up again, you like jolt. It, it slackens the rope up. Yeah. You? And then you end up like weaving a little bit as you're doing it. So it's quite, quite weird, really. 
anyway i've done my challenge i enjoyed my challenge let's uh, let's get back off down there again and on the road yeah yes yeah oh wow oh, Eddie! fucking hell i'm sat comfortably i'm not fucking strapped in you absolute arsehole fucking hell fire <laughs> Tell him, little bastard. Right. Slowly. Jesus, I wanted a nice relaxing thing back down. That was amazing. I absolutely loved it. Ah, I'm loving this, to be fair. How good is this? Ride down in the back of the boot. I wish we could do this all the way. It'd be a lot cooler, although I'll get a great suntan. I know, we could do we Doing it in a convertible. Yeah. One or our first. I don't know why I'm just waving this round like woo. woo. I know. Oh, oh God! I hope it doesn't fall off. Let's show you behind one sec. Yeah, this is the hill that I've just gone up. Oh, wires. Beautiful, beautiful countryside there. Apart from that bloody wire in way. There we go. Look at. It's very barren, but it's just something very nice about it as well. Hopefully, this heat will now stay and we'll have boiling hot weather for the rest of the trip because we've had enough rain. Can't be doing with any more rain. Bloody flies everywhere. Even when I'm moving it like however many miles an hour. So Andy was right, it is the Pyrenees. Now, we don't really go directly over them. It looks like we skirt them because we're going around the coast. So luckily, we don't have to hit them. But I think tomorrow, we do catch a little bit of them. Yeah, and it'll be you driving. Why are you still driving? It should have been me taking over from you ages That's ago. What I'm doing now. Oh, is that what you're doing? Pulling off? Pulling in. All oh, right. Well, last hour and a half. Hopefully not pulling me off. Anyway. Oh, you wish, you dirty bastard. I definitely don't wish. Anyway, <laughs> we'll swap over for a bit. Right, so we've swapped seats and I lured, and this sounds wrong, I lured Andy in on the promise of toilets. That, that sounds weird. And hot chocolate. Cottage in. And it, instead of getting uh, myself a drink, which he, I thought, he, I got myself a soup. So I'm eating again, technically. I'm gonna be like a whale by the time we get there. No, you're gonna be like a, a bigger whale. That's just like, really horrible. Like a, a sperm whale. Well, yeah, that, I won't have had sex for a week, that's why. A sperm volcano when it comes to that. <laughs> Say my balls are big enough as it is, I don't need them to be any more full. Blow head off. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Right, while well, Andy is on the phone to his family, because obviously we make sure we stay in touch with family. Hey. Just wanted to show you this. Look at that. It's like no, we're driving into heaven. It's amazing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you and show you that we don't forget about home while we, we're firmly thinking about our families and stuff as well. Oh dear. Right, so this is the final money paying toll thing before we go into Spain. We've just had text messages to say we are already in Spain. So I don't know whether this is the border or if the border's just a little bit further up that road, but we are literally about to go into our third country. People will be like, oh no, we've only been in two. Don't need change, and they? It's only about 25 pence. But yeah, people will be like, oh no, you've been in two, but I'm counting the UK because we did a massive amount of driving through the UK first, didn't we? Loads, four and a half hours. Exactly. So England, France, and now I'm, I'm guessing we're in Spain now. I haven't seen anything though to say that we are, which is weird. 
So finally in Spain and losing light fast, we were heading down to Bilbao. We've been really, really excited to visit this city. Not so much for the attractions and things to see, but the place we were staying that night was somewhere we'd talked about the whole trip so far. But before we had chance to get into the accommodation, we promised you guys we were gonna do a live stream. So with Sharpie in hand, we set off writing the names of subscribers on the inside of the car. And at this point, I need to say a massive thank you for all the donations we received. Unbelievable the support you guys give us. And as usual in our live streams, it goes a bit stupid. Andy ends up with writing on his head. I end up with a massive cock on my head, which we have to keep on until the next morning, which was quite embarrassing when we went to our accommodation. Right, so we've just done the live stream and we've been on the live stream for an hour and a half and that is why I have got that on my head and Andy has got writing on his head. Now we did say we would keep these on our head until tomorrow, which we're gonna have to do. And they're in Sharpe, so they might not even come off. So literally, it is, what time is it now? Five to 11 at night, and we've not even got into our accommodation yet. It's way up here, Andy. Stop looking through windows. Um, so yeah, we need to find the accommodation that we're staying in. We need to get in, and then we need to get back out for food. We've not had any tea. We're pretty hungry, but we wanted to make sure you guys got your live stream. Uh, otherwise, we would have missed out on talking to you because it would have been too late. So we're gonna go and find it now, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Hola. Um, we have a booking. Um, in the name of Matt. Yeah, yeah. Matt. That's okay. the one. I will need your IDs or your passport. You need. You've yeah. got them. Yeah, that's lucky. Welcome to the hall. This is the shirt place. You can sit here all the time you need. We are from England. Where about? Um, Sheffield. Yeah. Um, Neil. 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 Um, Sheffield. Uh, near Manchester. Not far near from Manchester. Manchester. Oh, okay. I do apologise about this on my head and this on his head. We, we YouTubers, so uh, we've just been doing a live stream, that's why we're late. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> we're driving to Marrakesh. We set off from England on Saturday and we're driving to Morocco. Ooh, where? Where's Morocco? Um, in Mar Mar Marrakesh. Okay. We're driving in a car that cost £150. So. You are driving that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's super cool. <laughs> right, so this is like a a joint seating area. I'm not gonna film off to the other side because like I said, there's people there. Um, you've got all your vending machines and shower rooms. I don't wanna show in the shower room because you don't know what you're gonna see in there. No. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna have to be really quiet because there are people asleep in here. Now this is our locker room. Now it seems weird that we've got a shower room that's separate and a locker room that's separate, but it will all become clear why in a minute. So we are, were we locker number 43? So we've got two big lockers there. But as you know, I've got no clothes to put in there anyway, so it makes no difference to me, but you've brought the massive bag out of the car. <laughs> right, so we've now got to be very quiet, so we, it will be a whisper from both of us. I'll show you. So we are in sleeping pods. Now I've got to be very, very quiet. But it's like UV light in here, it's so weird. And where are we? Why can't I find it? Oh, there. So just pull that back for me, put your bag down and pull that back for me. Side, but we're going out for some food first. Yeah, so like we said, it is absolutely amazing in there. It's so good. Total different experience to what we've ever had before. It really is. Hold that a minute. I will get the card out and you can not lost the card. There we go. It's the one without the dot on it. It's that one. 
yeah, and put it in the bottom. So yeah, all handy stuff can go in there. We could keep it in the car, but we may as well use it and then it can get changed in the morning. So, shall we go and get some food now before everything's shut? Yeah. Do you want to keep the cards? You're more, re more reliable with things like that than me. Yeah. Oh, that was supposed to go in there. Okay. Yeah. Just because I can't wear it, can I? So. Right. Off we go back out again. I can't believe I've got this on my head. I feel like a right, absolute numpty. Like it's not embarrassing enough having these glasses on and, and looking like I do. You can be a bit loud in there. You can speak again. Oh. Okay, he's going for a wee and I'm going to have to wait here with a big massive knob on my head. Right, we've been for our food. We've had kebab, because we're naughty boys, like that. But it was literally the only thing that was open. It's past midnight, we're both absolutely exhausted. That's why we've not filmed eating it. I'm sure you didn't want to see us eating a kebab anyway. I'm sure you'll smell it tomorrow. And... Uh, sure yeah. you will. Yeah. Oh God, both of us farting in that little car is going to be awful. Anyway, we better crack on, get back. And I want to show you this room inside when we get it all sorted out. We'll see you there. Right, we are back. Where the lockers are, getting the stuff. I don't know how Andy's going to put up with me because I am so sweaty. We're going to share a pod and I stink. Although I suppose we shared a tent last night, didn't we? Well, yeah. The thing is, people don't realise it. We have got partners back at home. We're not together in any way, shape or form. Especially not with that hairy body. Look at the state of that. Anyway, we'll have to be quiet again, but I want to show you inside the pod properly. is now in the pod, all settled down. We've got the telly starting up. I can't even get in here properly. Turn the lights on for me. How good is that? It's like touch screen in here. It turns it on. That is so good. And like I say, you've got the telly at the end there. It's quite a big space, this really, isn't it? To say it's like a pod. Um, it come, there's a load of stuff around here that I've just sort of dumped, but there's um, Bluetooth headset so you can listen to the telly and not disturb anybody. You've got your towels at the end for the shower. All your British plug sockets, which in Spain is unheard of. I've never known there'd be British plug sockets abroad, ever, which is amazing. Um, and then controls for other things like heating and stuff as well. Not that we need it because it's absolutely boiling. But anyway, I'm gonna settle down. Wait, wait. Oh, what, what, what? Okay. Go on. Oh, oh wow. Is that to do your makeup in the morning? What's the other one? Oh, it's the, is it the top light? Yeah, you can dim that and turn it out off as well. This is so good. This is so, so good. Absolutely love it. You look really fat. 
I think it's just how you sat in it. <laughs> it's not like you. Anyway, let's get settled down. Right, we're in. And this is the most homoerotic video I have ever made in my life. There is no dog. <laughs> but look, the thing is, it looks like we're absolutely butt naked until you realise we're not. But yeah, just to show you, this is the view we've got. And everything will be going off in a minute because we need sleep. We're both really tired. So until then, Bye.